Hey all! This is Anjum Turabi. And today I'm gonna solve an example problem based on Kruskal's algorithm because in one of my videos' comment section I got this recommendation. So basically, Kruskal's algorithm uh, is a greedy algorithm in graph theory which finds minimum spanning tree for a connected weighted graph like this. So in exams, they might ask you a question like trace the following graph using Kruskal's algorithm and find the cost of spanning tree. Or they might even ask you find the minimum spanning tree using Kruskal's algorithm for the following graph. So they might give, they will definitely give you a, f a graph for which you have to find the minimum spanning tree. So for that, you have to construct column, tabular column with VT and sorted edges. Under sorted edges, you're going to sort the edges with their weights according to their weights and VT represents vertices. So let's do it. In the graph, we can see uh, according to the Kruskal, uh, according to Kruskal's algorithm, we're going to first arrange vertices with their weights in ascending order, that is non-decreasing order of their weights. So we'll take BC because one they have the weight one, which is the minimum. So we'll take BC with the weight one, and next is two EF. With the weight 2, next is 3, AB with the weight 3, and here we see that BE and C, sorry, BF and CF has the same weight that is 4. Here, um, you're going to go according to alphabetical order, that is B, and then you're going to take C. Okay, so we'll take BF, and here again, you're not going to take it, take it as BF, BB, it's better you take BF in an alphabetical order so that is bf with the weight 4 and then cf with the weight 4 next again you have af and df with the value 5 so first you're going to take af with edge value 5 and then df with edge value 5 take it af with the weight 5 and then df with the weight 5 next is ae and then cd 6 6 alphabetical order first you're going to take AE and then CD so let's take it AE with the uh, with the weight 6 and then CD with the weight 6 after that you're left with DE with the weight 8 DE with the weight 8 so here you have arranged everything in an ascending order of the weight so this is the first step after the first step the next step is you're going to take out in the vertices column the vertices with the minimum edge, va the edge value that is the weight. So it is, uh, BC you're going to take out because it has the minimum weight. So after taking it out you're going to check in such a way that it should not form a cycle. It should never form a cycle. So once you take out BC start constructing your spanning minimum spanning tree because it's better for you to compare whether it's forming a cycle or not. So I've taken BC with the weight 1, so I'll start constructing BC with the weight 1 and then check whether other edges are following or making a cycle or not. So let's see, BC with BC we're not including again because we have taken it out. So we'll not include this. And C, EF is making a cycle or not with BC. So BC I've taken it out and see if I attach EF it will make a cycle. If I attach EF here will it make a cycle? No. So we'll take EF. If it's not making a cycle you have to include it. Okay. Now AB. This is done. Next is AB. If I include AB here, if I attach A here and connect it, will it make a cycle? No. So I'll take AB with the weight 3. Next is check for BF. If I attach, if I take F here and attach it, will it make a cycle? No. So I'll take BF with the weight 4 
So similarly, not all are making cycles. You can check it. So I'm taking them all. That is CF for AF5, DF with the weight 5, AE with the weight 6, CD with the weight 6, and DE with the weight 8. And next you're going to take out EF because it has the minimum weight now. So EF with the weight 2. And if once you're taking out, can start constructing. So attach EF here with the weight 2. E is here. So let it be here only. F is here. Let it be here with the weight 2. Okay. Now check whether it's forming a cycle or not. So AB. If I attach AB in this graph, will it make a cycle? No. So I'll take AB with the weight 3. Done. Next is BF. If I attach BF, will it make a cycle? No. So I'll take BF with the weight 4. Next is CF. If I attach CF, will it make a cycle? No. So I'll take CF with the weight 4. And then same AF. If I take AF here, will it make a cycle? No. So I'll take out that also. Similarly, not all are making cycle. Rest all are not making cycle. So I'll take out all. DF with the weight 5. AE with the weight 6. CD with the weight 6. And DE with the weight 8. Once they are forming a cycle, you need to exclude them. So let's check for... Let's do it for AB with the weight because now it has minimum weight take it out and you're, as you are taking out attached here a b right so a is here oops it's big okay a b with the weight three now see if they are forming a cycle so a b with b f if i attach b f will it form a cycle no so I'll take BF out. This is done. Now CF. If I attach CF here, will it form a cycle? No. So it's not forming a cycle, so I'll take it out with the weight CF with the weight 4. And AF. If I connect F, will it form a cycle? No. So I'll take AF out with the weight 5. These are done. Next is DF. If I connect DF, will it form a cycle? No. So I'll take out DF with the weight 5. See, similarly, AE is not forming a cycle. So I'll take out AE. Oh, sorry. AE with the weight 6. And also CD and DE. CD. Okay. CD and. Okay. CD and DE. If I connect, it's not forming a cycle, so I'll take them out. CD with the weight 6 and DE with the weight 8. Next is, take, you're taking out BF with the weight 4. Done. Now check with the other vertices if it's forming a cycle or not. So first, before that, you're going to construct the graph for BF also. So B F, as in the graph, B and F is connected. Now, with the weight 4, okay? F given BF in the graph. So, I'll check with the vertices now. If I connect CF, if I connect CF, it is forming a cycle. So, you're not going to take it. If I connect CF, it's making a cycle. So, I'll exclude it. So, it should not form a cycle. So, you're not going to take it or include it in your next step. And next is AF. If I connect AF in this graph, it's forming a cycle. So, I'm not going to take it. So, even AF is excluded. Next is DF. If I connect DF, is it forming a cycle? No. So, I'll take DF here. DF with the weight 5. Next is CD. If I connect CD... Like this. Will it form a cycle? No. So I'll take CD out with the weight 6. If I connect DE, okay, if I connect DE as such, 
weight from a cycle now so i'll take out de also with the weight eight and next you're going to take out df because it has minimum weight now df with the minimum weight five and now you're going to check it again but before that include it in the graph df okay so as in the graph d is here with the weight five okay now see if i attach if i include cd will it form a cycle cd yes if i connect cd it, it is forming a cycle so i'll exclude it if i include de if i include de will it form a cycle yes it is forming a cycle so i'll not include i'll exclude it so done everything is done so this is the end and this is our minimum spanning tree so let me draw it again here this similarly a b c f d e i'm very sorry about my bad writing okay now for the cost of spanning tree you're going to count them all that is you're going to add them all all the edges value all the weights that is 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 that is 15 so 15 is the cost of spanning tree and this is your minimum spanning tree I hope you enjoyed the video so if you enjoyed learning please like the video subscribe to my channel and also share the video thank you very much for watching